welcome back to my channel it's west african queen and for today's video i am going to be talking about how i'm getting ready for my first solo vacation i decided to take a vacation before uh, school started i decided to take a vacation before school started by myself i didn't want to go with anybody i really didn't have anyone to go with but i decided to take my first solo vacation um i'm very excited because I'm going to be gone for quite a few days um, and it's going to be interesting. I'm not scared, I'm, you know, I'm not nervous, but as long as you do your research. So today I'm going to be sitting down talking about um, some things that I've done to help me prepare for this trip um, and so, so some tips that I can give um, about traveling by yourself. Because I have traveled by myself, but usually it's for destinations that I know of. The first thing, of course, is figuring out where you want to go. What I did is I usually look on Google Flights. Um, I look at the whole world map, um, and then I look at different locations if I want to go to like a Caribbean. I didn't want to go too far away for my first solo vacation, so um, I came across a little island called St. Martin, and it's really small. It's very, very small. Um, it got my interest and it was very affordable um, with Google flights when you are exploring like destinations they give you a price point of how much the flight is going to cost from your location to your destinations there's ways to go about it but um, that's what I did and I came across St. Martin so before finally deciding to before deciding to go with St. Martin I just did a little bit of more research like if there's things I can do on there if I'm going to enjoy it since it's my first solo vacation I wanted to know if it was like a, a tourist location where it's kind of safe I don't know where it's safe in this world right now but you know a place that's more on the safer side so yes the first thing is finding your location and so what I also did next was um, usually people when they're traveling they like to go from like Um, like they don't like stops that's what I'm trying to say they don't like stops um, but what I decided to do is fly from here well I'm flying from Boston to Orlando and St. Martin is very close to Florida so now I'm going to fly from Florida to St. Martin and um, my round trip I believe costs underneath $500 for less than $500 for um, the ticket so yes i went ahead um i fi also figured out the dates that i want to travel um i was given an advice that it's good to travel on the weekend is usually more expensive um and then one of my ex co-workers gave me an advice that usually for like google flights if you look at tickets like on a certain days like a tuesday night or a wednesday night um you can get it very affordable so i am leaving here on sunday night unfortunately i really got the ticket really cheap um sunday night um, to Orlando, I'm going to spend a few days in Orlando, and then I'm going to fly from Orlando to St. Martin, and then from St. Martin back here. Um, usually with airports, so certain airports, it's very expensive to travel from. Like, I know here in Connecticut, Bradley Airport is sometimes expensive to travel from, so I'm traveling from Boston rather than Bradley because it's usually for, like, big airports like Boston, New York, or wherever you are um certain airports it's more it's less it's less expensive to travel from there so um that's another tip so the next thing is also budgeting for your trip what i did is i love 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 to research i love researching about places especially some places i've never been to i want to know everything i need to know before i get there so i don't seem so lost especially traveling by yourself you have to do research so what i also did is um i researched things that i can do while i'm there um obviously i'm going to be gone for one two three one two three four five okay, okay. i'm gonna be gone we're gonna say five nights because i'm gonna be there six days on my sixth day i'm going to come back so usually um one thing about uh, when researching about um traveling is you don't want to do everything every, like you don't want to do things every single day so st martin is a very small island so there's beaches and stuff like that so i've also planned out 
um, things that I'm going to do while I'm there. Of course, it's a vacation. I want to do stuff. I've never been there. So I looked for um, things I can do on certain dates, um, prices, knowing like how much you the advice that I can give you is that write the cost of everything like write it out. I love writing everything out so I can know where my money is going, how much things are going to cost me. That's all part of budgeting. Um, even like the little thing as to food, money you're going to put on the side for, I don't know, maybe something might come up that you want to do last minute, but write everything down. Um, everything that you plan to do, write it down, write how much it's going to cost. And one thing I did that also helped me with this upcoming trip is um, using Expedia. So I think it's Expedia. Expedia. Expedia is some, it's like a website where you can find flights, hotels, blah, blah, blah. But they have this uh, section where you can put a location and put things to do in that location. Um, so I looked up things that I can do while in St. Martin and I found out a whole bunch of stuff that I can do. Um, usually for like, let's say, I'm going to do zip lining, for example. Um, it gives you a cost and it's a pretty decent um, price for it. But you can make like a tab where you put everything that you want to do and then you can go back and look into it. But Expedia is very helpful uh, in finding out things to do as well. So next is where to stay. So part of traveling <laughs> is first your ticket and then obviously where you're going to stay for the couple of days. That's a whole cost of its own. One thing I suggest that almost everybody knows about is Airbnb. Airbnb is my go-to almost everywhere I go now. I do Airbnb because it's really affordable um, compared to like hotels and stuff like that. And you can also get reviews of people that have stayed there. They give um, reviews of the place and how the place is like. So for my vacation, I did an Airbnb. I found luckily a really, really nice place close to the beach. And it's like an entire apartment to myself. So Airbnb is also very helpful in find, um, finding out where to stay. If you want to do a hotel since it's a vacation, um, you can like stay at a hotel for one night to get an experience. But if you look at the cost of one night for a hotel compared to like how much it will cost for Airbnb, usually it's like three nights staying at um, Airbnb close to one night at a hotel. One thing that I've also made um, is a list of things I need to do before I leave for this trip. Write everything. I'm not even done, but I've written a whole lot of stuff out. I'm not even done with this. This is just a rough track. When researching the country, you have to figure out you know, things that you need maybe upon, upon arrival at the country. So what I decided to do is, um, first of all, you're going to have to figure out the currency. If you're going somewhere you don't know what kind of currency they have or if they accept american dollars if you're coming from the united states then you got to figure that out i am also i when i did my research regarding st martin um it said to print out like a return ticket so that they can see when you get there that oh yeah you're just coming here to visit and you are returning back you have a return ticket um also like little things that you need to get before your trip obviously it's a different country so one thing i also researched about is obviously having service um i'm not going to use my service over there because i don't want to char get charged extra so um when i did my research what i came up with was that um if you can get your phone on lock you can get a sim card when you get there so you will have service and it's less costly um but you see how I keep emphasizing on research? I think anyone can travel by themselves if you do your research. The more research you do, the more comfortable you become about where you're going so you're not lost or you're not scared of where you're going. That's why I'm so excited because I know I'm not gonna be nervous. Like, I do my research of where I'm gonna go, where I'm staying, where everything is at. So I'm aware when I get there, like, I don't look lost and be a target point of someone trying to, you know, do anything crazy also transportation oh i forgot with transportation so for me luckily where i'm staying um the person says we can rent like their car um so it wouldn't i'm not gonna have trouble with that but with my future vacations uh, i'll talk more about you know how i'll go about that 
but the St. Martin is a very small island, very, very small, so transportation shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, I just want to make sure that when you're going on your first vacation, first save up obviously um this was kind of, it wasn't last minute it's something that i know i wanted to do um for a while and i just decided to do it before school started so i thought it was going to be expensive but it's not as bad as i had like planned out um just to say it over again what i talked about is you know planning a couple months ahead research 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 research, research. research the country where you want to go um, since it's your first solo vacation, I suggest don't go too far, like go all the way to like Th Thailand or Bali or, you know, somewhere very far. Start like kind of close, but out of the country if you're comfortable enough. Um, research tickets, like how to finesse your way around getting an affordable ticket rather than just buying a ticket from straight from here to the destination. I mean, if you can afford it, you can go ahead. That's all on you, but I, I don't mind stops, you know, I don't mind stopping here and there. Um, also, first and obviously before doing anything is figuring, figuring out where you want to go. Um, budgeting and um, finding a safe destination. So I'm going to do more videos about this trip. I'm going to record a video about when I, um, well, like how I'm packing, the things that I'm packing for this trip. Um, I might do a vlog and when I get there. So basically this is how I'm preparing for my first solo vacation before school starts. I hope to go out on more vacations, hopefully, you know, if I do save up enough. But um, there are more vacations obviously coming up before the, um, the year ends. So if you really enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and make a comment if you want me to make any other videos that you're interested in. Please, please, please subscribe. There will be more videos coming soon. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>